I'm F6 FPV, I'm gonna do a little mobula upgrade. So we're gonna install the new canopy, a turbo EOS 2, uh, the new 200 milliwatt VTX. So let's start that. Sorry, by the way, my light just died. You can start with the motor though. It's all right, so we got the, the four motors on. So this is a good start. I'm just gonna check, because I know there's some little component coming with the, uh, the new VTX. Okay, so you got some uh, bigger bumper, which gonna be used, so extension. Since you mount it on the side, then you're gonna put some, this one here. But first off, we're gonna go install this. I'm gonna put the frame aside. So the new VTX comes with uh, two plugs you see in here. I'm gonna try to separate those two plugs so you can see them. Okay, so there's a camera plug in the VTX. Those little spacer with longer screws that come with it too. Oops. One G. And they of course. Okay, so we got the board here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first put this exactly where it is, so and solder one and resolder one. And since they're pretty thin, well basically it's just take the other one off and the new one on. So that. Got one on. Four to go. Now we're going to install this camera which comes with a connect connector vtx comes with connector but they're both uh, female connector so so we'll cut those and we're gonna wire them to the little wire that came with it All right, so we got this. So this is gonna go in here, and this plug is gonna go in the biggest uh, spot. So I'm gonna skip to next step, which is gonna be actually installing the FC uh, into place. So you want to use the longer uh, spacer. Wire that I'm gonna pass it. So, once you put that in place... We're gonna wait, because we're gonna be putting the canopy and then screw it in. So you kinda go... I'm gonna come and take this little canopy. And the screws that come with it. Okay, so this is long a little, but we're gonna squeeze it in the canopy like this, and we're gonna come and plug this in the air. Okay, I'm gonna come and snap the little UFL enough. So this snaps in, goes in the back.
Okay, you screw this in. Then you come assemble your rear part. Not sure about where the antenna is supposed to go. I put it there. If you fix it permanently, like I'll probably do later, you can maybe make the whole air a little bigger and pass it through here so it doesn't go in your props and risk uh, damage. So again, don't over tight anything. It feels a little more heavy, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's gonna go. So now you want to finish by plugging in your motor. Be sure to twist the, the wire like you can so they're not hitting the props again. All right. So let's go try that.